it's Jamie. As you can tell, I'm into new looks this week, which also means I'm into new jewelry. And that can be a lot to manage. My walls could also use a new look, so I'm going to make a super cute jewelry organizer that I can hang right over there. And I'm going to show you how. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so the only three tools that you have to have are a shadow box, cork board, and push pins. Most shadow boxes run about $15 to $20 at department stores. You can get them at a frame store too, but they're pricier that way. Since I'm all about the good deals, I got mine on clearance for $7. It looks a little grody, so I'm going to have to cover it up Jamie's style. You can already buy a shadow box that's painted to match your wall. You can decoupage it with pics of your friends, or if you want to follow along with me, you'll also need scissors and a pencil, a hot glue gun, an easy grip hook, colored mesh, a tape measure and stapler, and fun fabric such as lace or ribbon. I've chosen this blue tie-dye fabric because I think it's going to look really good with my blue and white walls. Okay, craft time! Step one, remove the glass from your shadow box. Step two, let's decorate this sucker. Cover your entire shadow box with your favorite fabric. For most materials, you'd only need all-purpose glue or Mod Podge, but I found that with my silky material, I need hot glue. This step takes the longest, so let's cut to a fun montage instead. Cue the music! Oh no! <laughs> I need more glue stick. Ooh, me likey. Step three, grab your cork and measure it against the back of your shadow box, marking your boundaries with a pencil. Using your scissors, cut along the lines. Cork. Looks cool already, right? But you know me, so you know that I have one more addition that can make this even prettier and even more practical. Grab your colored mesh and cut out a piece that will cover your cork completely. Make sure to leave some extra material to wind around the back. Keeping the mesh taut, Staple the extra mesh to the cork and place it in your shadow box. If that's too tricky, simply place the cork in by itself and stick push pins in the corners of the mesh to hold it in place. Step five, grab some cute push pins and put them anywhere and everywhere you'd like to hang your jewelry. There are a million types of push pins out there. Skinny ones, short silver ones, colorful ones. I think I'm going to stick with these bluish purple ones because they match my color theme and they jut out enough so that my jewelry won't slide off of them. Hang your shadow box on the wall using your easy grip hook. Or if you want to use a hammer and nail, check out our video on how to use a stud binder. Ta-da! All that's left is to add in your jewelry. Vary your necklaces and bracelets for an artsy look. Keep it clean and simple, or make it an organized mess. It's totally up to you. Looking at my shadow box, I actually feel like my collar is duller than I'd like it to be. I have an idea. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <sighs> Much better. Now my organizer has some pep. You can totally add in your personal style too. There's no wrong way to decorate. We now have a trendy, practical, and all around adorable jewelry organizer. A new thing for all of my new things. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. My hot glue gun only reaches a certain point. We now have a fun, affordable, and Check out our video on how to use a stud finder. I need a stud.